Hey guys, welcome back. This is a new series related to key format concepts. In this video, I will talk about uh, how to convert from fixed point to floating point and floating point to fixed point. Uh, this would be very basic, but moving forward, uh, we can um, we can study about uh, how to do key format arithmetic like addition, subtraction, or multiplication, uh, things like that. Okay, so let's get started with the simple concept of uh, uh, conversion so this is very much uh, important for those people who are working in telecom industry okay and who are working uh, in uh, dsp based uh, platforms and who are writing uh, code uh, uh, in the dsp chip okay so let us see why do we need uh, this kind of a queue format what is it at all um, so in the communication we have one block right that is modulation block okay before this modulation block we deal everything in terms of bits 0s 1 0s 1 0s 1 after this modulation block uh, as per uh, uh, the mapping we get uh, what is now called as uh, you know complex numbers okay in this a and b are real numbers it can be something like 0 0.7 0 0.3 like that let, let, let me take an example of just qpsk itself uh, you know if the incoming bits is 0 0 then we gonna map it to 1 by square root of 2 plus j into 1 by square root of 2 right and if it is 1 1 then it will be like 1 by square root of 2 sorry minus j uh, 1 by square root of 2 right so if you see this one this is like 0 0.7071 and uh, after this there, there could be many modulation um, there could be other blocks uh, for which we have to do uh, many operations like multiplication addition so so what i would say is we will get a we will get an uh, situation where we need to multiply 0 0.7 into let's say 0 0.3 okay and even something like uh, uh, addition as well 0 0.7 plus 0 0.1 things like that but the thing is that if you are working on the DSP base platform, then it consists of lot of processing units. Okay, uh, I will say PU processing units. Uh, these processing units will deal in terms of bits, like uh, similar to our uh, CPU in, in computers. Um, it has got a lot of uh, automatic logic units, and they deal in terms of bits, right? So we need to have a mechanism to represent these floating points in terms of uh, bits. So, according to our basic mathematics, okay, if I want to represent, uh, let's say, I mean to say, um, 5, if I want to represent 5, then how can I represent? So, this will be, just I will take, you know, 4 uh, digits so for now, this will be 0, 1, 0, 1, right? How this will be 0, 1, 0, 1? The first one will represent 2 to the power of 0, then 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, then 2 to the power of 3, this is 1, 1 means this is 4 and this is 1 so total 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 that's how uh, it is represented right so but now let me take uh, the floating point number which is let's say 1.25 how to represent this we will go the same we'll go by the same principle okay there is a dot so how to represent 1 as per this so this could be 1 right so all this uh, are 0 0 0 then how to represent 0.25 so this will be 0 this will be 1 right how after uh, dot whatever number we represent it will be 2 to the power of minus 1 2 to the power of minus 2 2 to the power of minus 3 like that 2 to the power of minus 1 is uh, 1 by 2 which is uh, uh, 0 0.5 this will be uh, 0.25 this will be 0 0.125 like that right so 0 0.25 means uh, this will this uh, bit will be set and uh, all the remaining bits are zeros so maybe we can write it something like that correct right i think uh, you with the basic uh, uh, you know mathematics we got to know how to represent but when we are dealing with um, i will just take 1.25 here so 0001 dot 0100 but when we are uh, dealing with the dsp platform when we are dealing with uh, dsp operations or algorithms so then uh, uh, it would become difficult uh, uh, you know to represent this uh, dot uh, in the registers dsp have got 16 bit registers okay and we store the information in the 16 bit and we do operations and then finally um, put it in the, these registers so these registers will not have any um, a way to actually 
uh, you know store or uh, place uh, this bay, uh, this dot right uh, it, it will not have any uh, anything to store this dot so but how to represent this 1.25 can i just uh, um, uh, you know remove this dot yeah so but equivalent if i just remove this dot what would it become like as good as we are removing this dot to the end right so in which case i can shift four bits towards left right in this case so based on this concept there are many q formats that are defined so let us go through that now so i will just take 1.25 okay now what i will do since i have bought a 16 bit right 16 bit register i have to represent this in 16 bits so there is a standard to follow the thing is that first msp bit uh, will be sign bit okay so then certain bits are stored for uh, integer part and certain bits are stored for fractional part so in this Mm, this is plus right okay one bit will be used for uh, uh, sign bit then how much required for integer as per this you know there is only one year how many bits uh, are required just one bit is sufficient right to represent one so this is also one bit then 25 sorry sorry 0.25 so remaining bits um, like 14 bits right you can represent uh, the fractional part in 14 bits so 0.25 how can i write uh, 0.25 in 14 bits so now this uh, sign bit is uh, uh, this is plus so this is zero anyway uh, this will become one um, now what about this 14 bits so as we saw already uh, after a decimal point we have uh, 0 1 0 0 right then all others are zero so we total we need uh, 14 so zero zero basically i will write here zero one zero zero four bits eight twelve thirteen fourteen so this is the representation for this 1.25 so right now since i have taken this as um, so as per as per this how can i write my q format q this is sign bit is one dot this integer is just one bit dot the fractional bit is 14 so q 1.1.14 1 1 okay now the thing is that uh, as i was telling we need to place a dot here and we don't have a mechanism to place uh, a dot in the registers so can we convert this into uh, can we convert this, this into fixed point so that uh, we need to have to worry about this dot so as i was telling like what if we shift all these 14 bits towards left then this dot will be at the end right so like let me take one zero one zero one zero 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 okay so now the dot can be placed at the end how to how to you know left shift okay so uh, left shift means by 14 means we gonna multiply by 2 to the power of 14 all right so here comes the floating to fixed point conversion so if i have 1.25 and uh, this as per uh, the notation uh, we could represent in q1.1.14 okay uh, then in this case uh, i have to multiply the floating point number 1.25 into 2 to the power of 14 okay then whatever number i get uh, you know that will be that will be of this one so let, let us see that one okay um, so 1.25 into 2 to the power of 14 then i will get it as as you can see here okay 0 1 0 1 then 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 okay so so th that is the number you can see here 
right so if you clearly go back to our previous uh, this one and if you see um, that is what uh, we have got here so I think now you got it so for this we need to write a uh, you know C code right how to write the C code now so let's say we have got a uh, float uh, float a for example then 16 bit right uh, in 16 underscore t this is uh, the signed integer uh, 16 bit integer so let's say I will take uh, uh, this as x now what should be my code so uh, x is equal to the floating point number which is a right uh, a into I was telling 2 to the power of 14 so q format q 1 dot 1 dot 14 right this is 14 so 1 should if I shift 1 by uh, this one this is equivalent to 2 to the power of 14 so multiply means that is uh, equivalent to you know left shifting this a with uh, 14 bits right this will give the value but there are many cases okay uh, <clears throat> many cases where um, once you multiply okay once you multiply you will get 7.8 then in order to not lose the precision uh, so this should be rounded off to the nearest integer which is 8 if it is like 7.4 or something it can it will go to 7 so to do this one this number uh, should be you know added with 0 0.5 float this entire thing will be in float but uh, to actually give to uh, you know x we need to convert it into int 16 you type cast it okay so basically it is like floating point to fixed point number okay now how to get back get back my you know fix to float okay so as you can see like we have multiplied by 2 to the power of 14 right to get back we need to divide by uh, uh, you know divide by 2 to the power of 14 I mean if you are looking for a Q format uh, uh, same Q format let's say for uh, in this a is in float right so first uh, anyway this uh, um, x is in integer right so first we need to convert that into float typecast it with float so from, from float of x right then as I was telling you know we need to divide divide by to the power of 14 so that is like 14 since this is also like a, a integer you can type cast this with float so then float by float uh, anyway we, you will get float right and uh, it will be it can be stored in float so the number 20480 was there right 20480 so this if I divide by Mm, this is 2 to the power of 14 if I divide by 2 to the power of 14 I will get 1.25 I hope uh, the concept is uh, clear here uh, this one had become a little bit lengthy uh, but in the upcoming videos let us see you know how uh, we can learn about uh, various Q formats what are the other Q formats available how to do the Q format automatic like uh, subtraction addition and things like that please do subscribe to the channel uh, if you're looking for more videos like this, mm, thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye bye.